Here's another quick Squarespace tutorial for you guys. So I have a Squarespace site. If you haven't seen it before, it's ivyandlight.com. And I add new pages all the time. I have a uh, shop that has tons and tons of pieces of crystal jewelry, other healing items, and I do a collection every month. I also have a learning center, lots of different blog posts, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm needing to index. So every time I post a new blog or I create a new piece, you put that onto your Squarespace site and you would just assume that Google is going to index that. If you have set up your integration with Google and you have already given them your sitemap, what I discovered was that is not the case. You actually are going to have sometimes randomly, sometimes a lot, of pages in one chunk that just did not get indexed. Full disclosure, I still haven't figured out why, but I do know how to get them indexed so that people can find them on Google. So this is to show you really quickly how to do that. Now, the place you need to get to is your Google Search Console. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Search.google.com slash search dash console. I will include that in the video description. This is the back end of mine. It doesn't really matter any of the rest of this for this video, just hit URL inspection. Okay, now this is some of the ones I've already been doing recently. You can go to your website, pick a page, copy, paste, see if it's there. The tricky part of this is that there's a limit of how many URLs you can request to be indexed per day. I figured it would be easier to just check and see if they were indexed create a whole big list and then come back daily this week and just go ahead and get them added. So let's search for this one. URL is not on Google. This page is not in the index, but not because of an error. See the details below. So basically it just hasn't been crawled. Google has not checked to see if it likes this page, if it's going to index it. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the live URL because while I'm doing this, I might as well see if there's any issues with this page. URL is available to Google. It can be indexed. The page is mobile friendly. Great. So now I'm going to hit request indexing. URL was added to a priority crawl queue. Submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue priority. So I've told Google, please index this. Please put this on your um, to-do list of things to index and you can just keep requesting index. If you wanna check the quality of the page, hit test live URL. It's really that simple. I've gone back and I've checked some of the, the pages that I already submitted um, a few days ago and they are now indexed. So let me see if I can find one to show you. Let's look for one that I did index. Let's check this. Okay, URL is on Google, but has issues. Now on the product pages on Squarespace, this is another thing I've noticed. They always say that, that they have issues because um, they may or may not have a review yet because that was the thing that Squarespace just enabled. Um, they may not have a specific brand type. They may not have uh, an ISBN number. I mean, there are all of these things which are optional. So really that's okay. The most important thing is it actually on Google and yes, it is. Okay, so here's another example, not a blog, not a product. It's actually my crystal properties guide. And when I published that, I immediately went and asked Google to index it. So let's see if they did. URL is on Google. So, one thing that I have found in all of the places I've researched is that how quickly an, a page gets onto Google can be really important for how many people are seeing that page as a fresh page, as a relevant page, especially if you're writing something that is about an event that's happening right now or that is timely. You want it to get indexed when people can go purchase it or when people are going to be able to be helped by that thing like allergy season. You're going to want to get that onto Google ASAP, right? So hopefully this is helpful for you. Again, it's search.google.com slash search dash console. This will only work if you've set up your, your Google search console. There are plenty of videos on that and there were very few videos that I found 
on how to do this piece of it. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Let me know if there's any other Squarespace videos that you would like me to put onto the YouTube channel and I'll be happy to do that. Have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.